coach, do you have confidence in, in your squad to be able to have those types of conversations and correct things on the fly like that on the pitch without you guys having to send messages onto them? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We with the confidence on the players and I think for for a play for them like how they brought it in together but we keep on working and talking on that you know uh, throughout meetings and, and in training and how we need to um, one thing that I'm very pleased or we are very pleased with all how they they manage after a, a you know a, a bad start to put it lightly uh, you know they, they kept on totally to the script of what we planned or how we planned the game and, and they went out and, and did it, you know, so, um, and it turned up, I, I think they are very experienced now, they are a very experienced um, squad and, and, and you have some players there who've been through uh, a lot of those situations, so I think that that's, that helps definitely in, in those situations, you know, having some players who can bring some calmness and and say come on boys let's let's get it together and and let's go and and do our job you know the best we can because of the irregular season and the irregular schedule the fact you've got three intervals basically in the summer or they in spring has that changed your job role? has that been difficult for the coaches to prepare in the sense that usually the season would be pretty much finished by now and suddenly you have this kind of difficult things to um, I think we are very pleased that we we can play rugby, and at the end of the day, it's it's a rugby game, week in week out, you know, um, and and we just take it, we try to take it game by game in terms of um, we can only definitely you have a, an eye there on the table and so on, but you just take it game by game in terms of trying to improve from one game to another and and getting better, you know, and and. It doesn't matter. I know we the the, the champion or the Pro 14 is over and and there's a champion and we are out of the of the of the championship, European Championship. But there's there's a competition we are in and and we just want to do the best we can, you know. And and it's, it's a weird. It's a, we don't even know how it will end up the competition or what's what are the conditions of for for being crowned champion. But still. I think we we just want to go and and win every game we can, you know, and that's that's our mentality, you know, getting better and improving and winning, and and that's what we want to do week in week out. Doesn't matter which competition we are in. Thanks, Felipe. Okay. Felipe, it's Don here on uh, audio only. Um, mm. Yeah. We, we don't often hear from uh, Hugh Hogan. Um, has he been busy since the Munster and La Rochelle games? In what terms? In terms of uh, skills and defence skills and what have you. Um, no, we, we, we keep... It's not that because you had a, a bad result or uh, we change everything or we put more into... or, or we just uh, flood the guys with a with work you know it's we we keep very pragmatic in terms of our workload and so on and, and we are convinced on what we on the way we we want to play on how we want to play it's just getting and getting better you know and, and making it in a better way so that's our theory and, and Hugh is part of that theory and he's been working he works a lot on on individual technique and so on but um it, it doesn't change his, his, his approach because we lost two games, you know. Hi, Philippe. Uh, uh, Jerry Carr here, yeah. uh, Dublin City FM. Um, just wondering, uh, as a player, you, um, you obviously uh, suffered defeats uh, during your career. I'm uh, just wondering, what is the difference in terms of losing, you know, a semi-final, the European Cup, it, as a player and also now as yourself in terms of the codes, is there much difference or is there any difference? Um, yeah, well, f uh, 15 years time, like, and it's all the maturity you get. You probably, 
I think that it's not it's it's not that a different it's not about player or coach it's about Leinster you know at the end of the day it's losing with Leinster in a semi final on 06 and now losing with Leinster in a semi final in 2021 so um it still hurts and it's uh, but it's it's how you approach it and I think it's um the maturity of what I've what I've learned in the last 15 years, I would like to think that it made me a more mature uh, person, and 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 I could get the learnings out of it. Definitely, it's a different approach as well as in terms of I'm a coach and and I have different roles that you have as a player, but but I think it it hurts. It hurts because of um, it, it's not about one it myself or, or it's not about you it's about the, the the team losing you know and and something that we are we've been chasing for for Leinster now in this case the four star the fifth star you know so um, yeah it hurts the feeling is pretty much the same it's the way you you approach to it I'd say it's different